everyone and welcome to another episode of It's Natural, Live Healthy, where I'm all about teaching you things to make your food delicious and healthy and nutritious for your body. Today, I have something special here. All my recipes are special, shall we? <laughs> well, when I made my Greek yogurt flat bread, someone asked me, she said, do you have an oat wrap recipe? And I promised her that I was going to do an oat wrap recipe. I am here to fulfill that promise. This is a simple and easy wrap made with oatmeal, water, and a pinch of salt only. Even the salt is optional. If you don't want salt, leave it out. So very simple, two basic ingredients, water and oatmeal. And now the oats you are going to use should be the old fashioned oats, the rolled oats or the steel cut oats. Please do not use instant oats or quick cooking oats. It will not give you the texture. It will not form well into that wrap. So please make sure you use those strong oats. Now, all I have to do is simply add everything inside this blender. Blend and the next thing we move to the pan to make the wraps. Inside your blender, add a cup, one cup, that's 250 ml of water, and one cup of oatmeal, that's also 250 ml of oatmeal, and a pinch of salt, just for flavor. Cover, and we blend. Pour your blended oatmeal inside a bowl, and leave it for 10 minutes to thicken. That's why I said use uh, the hard oats. It thickens the longer it stays and that's what we want. This is it. So we just want it to thicken up a bit. Not much, just a bit. You can see it has thickened. So this is the texture we are looking for. Here I have my non-stick pan. Please ensure you use a non-stick pan. And I'm going to brush it with a little bit of oil, not much, just brushing. Any oil, any healthy oil at all. Now, we don't want the pan hot, just warm. If it's getting too hot, reduce the fire or lift the pan like I'm doing right now. Put a scoop inside then use something to spread it. Spread it, spread it. If you need more inside, you simply add more. Like I'm going to add more now. You see how easy it is to spread. The bottom has already started setting. That's why I said lift it off the fire. If not, you will not be able to spread it properly. So I've placed it back on the fire. Make sure there are no gaps inside. If there's any gap, cover the gaps. At this point, you can increase your fire so that it will start setting fast. Now we want it to set since we've succeeded in spreading it. Once you see there is no wet place anywhere on top again, run something around the edge. Okay, the edge to confirm, the edges are still a bit damp. So I'm going to still leave it for a few minutes, especially these edges. Okay. okay. Can you see that? Flip it and let the other side cook. The 
the wrap is ready, you can see that it's time to remove it. Just slip it under and place it. Now, the pan is very hot. I took it off the fire to cool it down again before I do the next one. Remember when you are pouring it, never let the pan be hot, just warm. So normally I even use two fry pans and I interchange, I interchange. So let me just continue frying the rest. This is my oat wrap. Let me show you how soft it is. Can you see? You can roll it up. You can fold it. You can use it for anything. Can you see that? And the same way I showed you how to freeze the uh, yogurt flat bread. This is the same way you also freeze this. So you can make as many as you want and freeze. And that is the oatmeal wrap. Very simple, very easy. And it uses equal measurement of oatmeal and water. So if you are using a bowl, you don't need specific measurement. You can just decide, oh, let me uh, take a bowl of oatmeal. Simply use that same bowl for the water. As long as it's the same equal quantity. That's all. And you can make as plenty as you want, as many as you want, as it's so flexible and it keeps perfect. You just wrap it up uh, with your, uh, what do they call it, uh, kitchen towel. Wrap it in kitchen towel, that's the kitchen tissue. Once you wrap it up, put it in your, in, wrap it with foil, then put it in your Ziploc and freeze. Anytime you are ready, you just bring it out. Once it's defrost, it will be back to being flexi flexible like this. And if you want to heat it up, you can simply put it in a hot pan and it will heat up. Nothing will happen to it. It's perfect. You can use it for shawarma. In fact, what my son loves it with, you know that egg recipe, the three types of egg recipes that I showed you in the recipe video here. The second one, which is the omelet, the flat one, he will just fry it, put it flat on it and roll it up with it like this and you'll be eating it. <laughs> That's how easy and simple it is. So I'll be coming your way again next time with more delicious and easy, simple, healthy, natural recipes. You can trust me for that. So I'll see you again next time. In the meantime, keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing and thank you.